the domain of the polynomial function is a set of all real numbers. It means to say that if you're going to get the limit of the polynomial function, you will just do direct substitution. So for example, if you are going to find the limit of x raised to 3 minus x as x approaches 1, then you will just substitute 1 as x. So we have 1 raised to 3 minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1. And that is zero. So since uh, this one is a two-sided limit, remember there is no positive or negative indications here. So this one is a two-sided limit. It also means, therefore, that the limit of that function as x approaches 1 from the left and the limit of that function as x approaches 1 from its right, they are also the same. Okay? The clue here is, since uh, 0 is a real number and 0 is a real limit, this is also equal to 0. So left and right are also equal to 0. So another example, if you have, if you are asked to evaluate the limit of 2 raised to x raised to 2 minus 2 as x approaches 2 to the left. Okay, since uh, this one is a polynomial function, we don't exactly need to be conscious of left or right of any number since direct substitution provides you the same way. So you will have 2 times the square of 2 minus 2 regardless if this is left or right. Since this one is a polynomial function, you are just going to do direct substitution. Okay, so we have 2 times 4 minus 2, so that is 8 minus 2. So 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So the limit of 2x squared minus 2 as x approaches 2 from the left is 6. It also means that limit of 2x squared minus 2 as x approaches 2 from the right or to the right is also equal to 6. And since left and right are both equal to 6, then limit of 2x squared minus 2 as x approaches 2. So this one is already a two-sided limit. This one is a two-sided limit, so that is also equal to 6. So another example, if we have limit of 1 half x raised to 4 plus 1 as x approaches 0. So the answer will be just substitute 0. So x, so we have 1 half 0 raised to 4 plus 1. So that will be 0 plus 1. The answer is 1. Rational means fraction. So if you have x over x plus 1, this one is a rational function, f. So let's say f of x is equal to x over x plus 1. Take note that the denominator should not be equal to 0. That should not be equal to 0. So for us to know the value of x, it will let x plus 1 equal to 0 then we can have x plus 1 is equal to 0. Equated to 0, so x is equal to negative 1. This x that is equal to negative 1 will let x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, the domain of the function, we are just going to exclude negative 1 to the set of all real numbers because negative 1 will let denominator be 0. Now, if you are going to use negative 1, so if you are going now to evaluate limit of x over x plus 1, as x, as x approaches, let's say, 2, then you can just do direct substitution. Ibig sabihin dito, iiwasan natin ang negative 1. So kapag hindi negative 1 yung given, then you can just do direct substitution. So you can have 2 over 2 plus 1, and that is equal to 2 raised 2 over 3. It is also true when we have limit of x over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. And that will be, let x be negative 1, so negative 1 over negative 1 plus 1. However, since negative 1 is used and that is not part of the domain and it will let denominator be equal to 0, then it means to say the limit will now be it will not exist. Okay? 
Another is, if you're going to evaluate limit of x over x plus 1, as x approaches 3, then you will just substitute 3 over 3 plus 1, and that is 3 over 4. For as long as you will exclude negative 1 to any value of c, then the limit will always exist. Another example is this. So if you're going to evaluate what is the limit of x squared over x minus 1 as x approaches 0. So let x be 0, 0 is square is equal to 0 minus 1. So this will be 0 over negative 1. That will be 0. But if you're going to have limit of x squared over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 and since 1 will let x minus 1 be 0 then this the limit will not exist consider this given x over x squared plus 1 so you have g of x is equal to x over x squared plus 1 you will notice here that x squared plus 1 will not be equal to 0 so if you get x squared plus 1 and let's say ang x i negative 2 or any negative number lagging positive ang magiging result this will now tell us that the domain of this function g can be any real number. Actually, wala siyang bawal. Therefore, you can just do direct substitution, whatever is the number. Let's say the limit of x over x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. Then substitute negative 1 over okay, square negative 1 plus 1. So we have negative 1 over 1 plus 1. The answer is negative 1 half. Okay, so just be very uh, specific already here. Dahil ang domain ay set of all real numbers, you can enjoy all, even left or right. So kapag tinanong sa'yo, what is the limit of x over x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1, left of negative 1, it remains to be negative 1 half. Bakit? Kasi nag-exist ang two-sided limit. Therefore, left and right will also be the same. Negative one half ang left, negative one half din ang right. So pagdating naman sa radical functions, ang gagawin natin dito, let's say h of x is equal to cube root of x, g of x is equal to square root of x. Ang unang-unang papansinin natin dito ay ang index. Ito, to ito. Kapag ang index ay odd and the index is even, kapag odd number ang index na yan, then you can enjoy all real numbers sa value of x. Walang restrictions. Okay? Pero kapag yan ay isang even number, iiwasan mo, okay, you will not include negative dito bawal magkaroon ng negative numbers or negative values in the radicand. Okay, let's have an example. So, kapag, kapag uh, meron kang g of x is equal to fifth root of x minus 1, tapos you are going to evaluate g of negative 2, then just do substitution, you have fifth root of negative 2 minus 1, and that will become fifth root of negative 3. Okay. Ilabas lang ang negative sign sa negative fifth root of 3. However, pagdating naman sa isang uh, square root of x, kunwari, square root of x plus 1, and then pinapa-evaluate sa yung h of negative 2, then hindi mo yun magagawa. Kasi magiging defined, no? Square root of negative 1, it cannot be. That will be undefined. So, when it comes to evaluating na the limits dito sa g of x and you are asked to evaluate what is the limit of fifth root of x minus 1 as x approaches 2, ang gagawin mo dito is direct substitution. You have fifth root of 2 minus 1. Let x be equal to 2. So, that will be fifth root of 1. The answer is 1. So, dahil ang domain ng isang odd numbered index is a set of all real numbers, then, ibig sabihin lahat mag -e exist Kung 2 ito, and that is just 2-sided, ang left din ng 2 at ang right ng 2, ang limit niya ay 1 din. Pareho lang sila. So, take note of that. However, 
Pagdating naman dito, pinapa-evaluate sa iyo ang limit of square root of x plus 1. As x approaches 3, then you can have direct substitution. So, the answer is 2. So, in this case, meron kang iniiwasan lang kay square root of x plus 1. So, pag-usapan natin, ano bang iniiwasan ng square root of x plus 1? So, the square root of x plus 1, if you have a function h of x is equal to square root of x plus 1, bawal kasi na magkaroon ng 0 dito, right? Uh, I mean negative numbers. So, x plus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0. So, dapat ang value ng x daw ay mas malaki or equal sa negative 1. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung ito ang negative 1 and this is 0, this is negative 2, ang kukunin mo lang ay from negative 1 hanggang dito, up to positive infinity. Meaning to say, you are going to exclude all numbers na makikita mo sa left ng negative 1. You will exclude all numbers to the left of negative 1. Why? Because you, there will be no graph on that part. Okay? So, kung, kung pagdating naman sa one-sided limits, if you are approaching negative 1, from the right, well, that is okay. Mag-exist ang limit. Pero, if you are going to approach negative 1 from the left, this is from the left, well, hindi na mag-exist. Bakit? Kasi sinasabi ng domain ngayon na ang gagamitin mo lang o magpapakita lang ang values greater than or equal to negative 1. So, what are these numbers greater than or equal to negative 1? You can have a number negative 0 0.999. That is almost negative 1. Pero, pag sinabi sa'yo, negative 1.0001, well, hindi yan kasali. Kaya, sinasabi ngayon na hindi mag -e exist Kaya, kapag pina-evaluate sa'yo, what is the limit of square root of x plus 1? As x approaches negative 1 from the left, Hindi na yan mag-e-exist. Bakit? Kasi hindi naputol ang graph, no? Naputol ang graph kasi nag-start lang siya sa negative 1. Okay? And then numbers greater than negative 1. However, pag tinanong naman sa'yo, what is the limit of square root of x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1 from the right? Yan na, magkakaroon ka na ng direct substitution. And that is square root of negative 1 plus 1. And that is 0. Ang ibig sabihin nito, Habang ang x ay nilalapit-lapitan ang negative 1 from the right, ang ginagawa ng square root of x plus 1, it approaches 0. Nagsi-zero daw siya. Okay, that's good. Kasi that's also good when it comes to the graph kasi pwede nga lahat ng numbers from the right of negative 1. Ito naman nagiging hindi e kasi wala nga numbers on the left of negative 1. Meaning to say, there will be no behavior on square root of x plus 1 in this case. Kaya the limit does not exist. Another example, the limit of 7th root of x raised to 3 plus 1. As x approaches 2, then since 7 naman to, add number, then you can just do direct substitution. Okay? That will be 7th root of the cube of 2 plus 1. And that will be 7th root of 2 raised to 3 is 8, 8 plus 1, and that will be 9. So, 7th root of 9. Again, that is also the same, 9, 7th root of 9 din ang magpapakita. Kung tinanong sa'yo ang 7th root of x cubed plus 1, pero left naman ng 2. Why? Kasi kung ito nag-exist in the two-sided limit, then the one-sided left and another one-sided right, will always, will also exist. Okay? So, take note of that. But if you will have, uh, let's say, 4th root of x minus 2 as x approaches 3, and since x minus 2 will not be 0 if you're going to substitute 3, then pwede ka lang direct substitution. 3 minus 2. So, that will be 4th root of 1, and that is equal to 1. <clears throat> However, if you have 4th root of x minus 2 as x approaches 2, and take note, kapag ginamit mo ang 2, 2 minus 2, 
is equal to 0, then it cannot be, no? That will be, it will not exist on that case. But there, there are also chances we're in, kahit magkaroon tayo ng, ng even na index, pero sa loob naman ay hindi nagiging negative ang number. It's like x raised to 4 plus 1. Kapag square mo, uh, get the fourth power of negative 2. That is 16. That will always be positive. So plus 1, positive and positive. Then gives you positive. Meaning to say, pwede mong enjoy lahat ng all real numbers dito. You can use all real numbers in this case. Kasi wala namang pinagbabawal at hindi naman magiging negative ang x raised to 4 plus 1. Kahit sabi natin ang index mo ay 4, 6, 8, 2, or anumang even numbers. Okay, so if you're going to evaluate the limit of fourth root, fourth root of x raised to 4 plus 1 as x approaches 0, and that will be direct substitution, 0 raised to 4 plus 1, so fourth root of 1, and that is equal to 1. Okay, also if you're going to evaluate the limit of fourth root of x raised to 4 plus 1 as x approaches, let's say, negative 1, and that is equal to fourth root of negative 1 raised to 4 plus 1. So fourth root of negative 1, the quantity raised to 4 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So you have fourth root of 2. So let us try the following examples here. Let's have number 1. Limit of x cubed plus the square root of x as x approaches 2. So this one is 2. If you're going to substitute that to the square root of x, then that remains to be positive. Therefore, we can do direct substitution. The cube of 2 plus square root of 2. Okay, so we have 8 plus square root of 2. So this will be the final answer. You are not allowed to approximate it. Okay, number 2. Limit of negative 3x raised to 5 minus 2 as x approaches negative 5. The given is just a polynomial function, so you can do direct substitution. So negative 3 times negative 1 raised to 5 minus 2. So this is 5, tapos negative 1 ang nasa loob. Then negative ang final sign. So we have negative 3 times negative 1 minus 2. Negative 3 times negative 1 is equal to positive 3 minus 2. So the answer is 1. On the next, kapag ginamit natin ang negative 1, substituting to x cubed, hindi naman magiging 0 ang denominator. So you can just substitute negative 1 plus 7 over cube of negative 1 and that will be negative 1 plus 7 is 6 and the cube of negative 1 is negative 1 the final answer is negative 6 on the other example take note that square root of 2x plus 10 that 1 is a radical with index of 2 so kunin natin ang 2x plus 10 ano kaya makakapag 0 dito so we have 2x is equal to negative 10 divide both sides by 2 so, x is equal to negative 5. So, itong negative 5 ang kapag 0 sa 2x plus 10. So, if you have negative 5 here, so this one is negative 4 and this is negative uh, 6. Pag ginamit natin ang negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 10. Negative 8 plus 10 is positive 2. So, positive ang ipapakita niya. Therefore, pwede, tayong, pwede lahat ang numbers on the right of negative 5. Samantala, kapag ginamit mo ang negative 6, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, plus 10, and that will give you negative 2. So, bawal gamitin ang nasa left ng negative 5. Ang ibig sabihin nun, pwede kang, pwede lahat ang nasa right ng negative 5. So, pwede mong isubstitute ang negative 5 sa so 2 times negative 5 plus 10, and that will give you 0. Okay? However, ito left. E bawal lahat ng numbers on the left of negative 5. Ito naman, the limit does not exist. And since uh, right, limit at right is 0, and limit on the left is, well, it does not exist, then the limit, the two-sided limit, x approaches 5, will not exist also. Why? Kasi na-violate yung rule na the limit on the left and right must exist and must be equal. 